Ой, господи, помоги нам выбраться, хан, братан. И идем по тропе смерти уже. Лишь бы выйти. Вон деревня. Просто. Ху. Берсерки, сука! Наделали, блядь! Пушка идет. Суки. Пить хочу, блядь. Блядь. Пить хочу, сука. Давай, батя, с Богом. Смотри, мины, братан. Противотанка. Под ноги, смотри. Я посмотрю, я мама, я с да, сука. Не стреляй, братан, не гони. Мама, я люблю тебя, я вернусь домой. Дом завалили, мы живы остались. Мина прям в дом, прям в башку, сука. Че, пацаны? Я по соображениям. Welcome to Russia, блядь, Украина, сука. Смотри, мины. А кто за бабки? Знаете, смотри, Нужны ли вам эти бабки? Вот, Вас. Родные все, кто со мной, кто за меня молился. Если выйдем только с Божьей соль, вы просто не знаете, что там творилось. Просто не просто. Штурм сходили, я того просто не О, братишка, вообще первый раз на задачу. Просто и сила ели уши. Да, Хоть и не первую, но каждая задача скажу. Сука. Зато, блядь, таких эмоций, сука, ни на одной карусели не испытаешь. Прилетик был. А, мне, мама, <laughs> Руки будут сюда в тепле. We are doing nothing, just panicking. Russian Belgorod residents. In an intercepted call published by Ukraine's military intelligence, residents of Belgorod, Russia, express their fear and uncertainty about what to do and where to go as fighting between pro-Ukrainian Russian fighters and Russian forces reportedly continued in the border region. In one recording, a woman tells someone, seeming to be her husband, there is a house-to-house -house poll about evacuation. We did not open the door. They are asking who is evacuating and where. The woman says that a friend, Zenka, living nearby, received an offer to evacuate to neighboring Voronez, west of Belgorod. That's what they offer. But there are no offers anywhere else, the woman tells the man. We are doing nothing, just panicking and waiting for something I can't even tell For what exactly? Meanwhile, another intercepted call published by RBC Ukraine suggests local authorities are blocking evacuations. Korachansky, a district in Russia's Belgorod region, was shelled and taxi drivers were shot at. I don't know how our people will get there, a woman says. The rail line has already been unhooked. That's it. No one is allowed to go there or back. I don't know. A Kyiv Post source in the Ukrainian security services said that Belgorod authorities are blocking Russian civilians' evacuation to keep people present in the region for the March 15th to the 17th election. Starting last Tuesday, anti-Kremlin Russian volunteer fighter groups, the Russian Volunteer Corps, Freedom of Russia Legion and the Siberia Battalion began battling the Russian army in a rebellion meant to coincide with Putin's sham elections. The leader of the Russian Volunteer Corps, Denis Nikitin, called on locals to evacuate. Ukrainian intelligence intercepts conversation, evacuation ongoing in Russian Grevoron Belgorod Oblast. Ukrainian defense intelligence has reported that authorities in the Russian Federation's Belgorod Oblast decided to evacuate local residents due to the operations carried out by Russian military volunteer groups. Intercepted conversation of a resident of the Russian Federation, a fragment of which was provided to Ukrainska Pravda by a source in Ukraine's defense intelligence, confirmed this. 
An intercepted conversation with a local resident indicates that the people of Graveron District, Belgorod Oblast, Russian Federation, are being evacuated. Uncle texted, basically, that buses are standing or going. Graveron is being evacuated. Mom called me. Dima called. They said they were evacuating, says intercepted conversation. Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of Belgorod Oblast, reported on Telegram that the Graveron city district was again attacked by the armed forces of Ukraine. Gladkov stated there are casualties in the city. The Russian Volunteer Corps then issued a call to all residents of Kursk and Bryansk oblasts who did not have time or were unable to evacuate to seek shelter immediately. Russian volunteers from the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Sibir Battalion and the Russian Volunteer Corps liberated two settlements from the Putin regime and the Second Army of the World and continue to hold them. The volunteer said that they also decided to go to Putin's elections. Moreover, in Ukraine, what they say in the liberation forces of the Russian Federation is only the beginning. Part of the village of Tetkino, which was liberated by Russian volunteers, changed its name in Titchin, and fighting is underway for another part of the village. In addition, it became known that the border of Lozovaya Rudka of the Belgorod region was under the control of the liberation forces.